I am Shazad Latif, and I play Ash Tyler and Vogue, and many other characters in different shows, but we're not going to be talking about that today. I'm the artist formerly known as Vok and Mira Vok and uh, and, Shaza and 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 Ash. Yeah, yeah. He's an amalgamation of many different things and feelings and, and thoughts and, and organs. Pretty standard. Had my agent got, got it, it came through, and then I did a self tape with my with my mother in the kitchen. It, there was no clean because they sent a script that had nothing to do with the had to, vaguely to do with Tyler's character, but it wasn't you know you know it was in my kitchen, and we sent it. And then I did a seven way Skype audition a few days later, and got some notes outside of a jazz club because I had to, I had to go to this thing, and I was like I can't. And then they were like we need to give you notes, but there's time difference. I was like well I'm going to be out. So they sent me notes while I was outside a club and, I was, and the bouncer almost didn't let me back in. I was like, I have to get back in because I've got to see my gig, but I need these notes. And he was like, so I was just like police cars going down in Camden like, and it was very London sort of nightlife Midnight. kind of thing. It was a very strange night. No, I think it wasn't called Tyler. No, they used a random name. It was like a random soldier. Because they give everything else. So all, all the info of the scene was that they wanted, you know, Everything else in the scene is there, so you, that you need to know. For this, it was just it was just a scene to see the emotional range. I suppose the emotional range of Tyler in this scene, if you could reach that, then with the Skype. I knew everything about the Klingon stuff from from the beginning, from from the start. As soon as they knew, they, I knew it was going to be multi role As soon as I got offered the job, they were like, "It's Moira." Like, yeah. I was quite apprehensive because I, I didn't. I was worried about the getting the mask, done, the original sort of mask. Done. And that's very frightening and, and claustrophobic, and it was, it's quite a horrible experience. You have to hold someone's hands for 20 minutes, and it's, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish that on, on my worst enemy. But um, other than that, I love being in the makeup in terms of acting. It, it takes you into another world. It's easy to go into, you know, character that way. You, you were speaking another language. You really do feel like you're something else. Whereas, um, but it's not good for skin and, and reactions and sweat and, and being there for hours in a heavy head and. And the armor. I mean, it all... And the armor. And when we first started off, they honed it by the series two, and, and you know, or later in season one. But the first few apps was was awful. <laughs> but I loved it. Was uh, <coughs> Voke stepping from the crowd? It was in it was in uh, consecutive orders. So it was Voke coming out of the crowd saying, "I will light the fire," and it's when he and then he holds up the thing. So it was like that whole moment on the Klingon ship. And we had, we're told we're gonna have to eat everything through shakes. We were, we, at first they were like, you can't have lunch, you're gonna be everything through shakes. And then by like three days in, I was like, I'm eating lunch. And we just, you know, lips would fall off. So you have to redo makeup and like that. Yeah, just stuff. give you new lips. But um, it was very heavy. That first day I remember just going, how are we supposed to move it? Because when they show you the, you don't know how much, you know, how you're gonna be able to move and like, if you're gonna be able to fight or anything like that. Yeah. So it's quite strange those first few days. It's like how much this looks like metal. But then somehow starts away from metal. Yeah. Not being metal. Yes. Exactly that. Yeah, I, I grew up on Next Generation. Yeah. I love Patrick Stewart, um, um, but I didn't, and I knew the original. My granddad was a huge Trekkie, and my uncle, and my dad even actually. But um, I wasn't a super fan. But I, I ended up having to be, and then you know, love, learning to love it. Well, obviously ours is better. But it just depends what you like. So it's hard to convince a Trek fan who likes the older style or doesn't want things to change. It's hard to convince that. But ours is clearly superior and, and more advanced. Is. Just because I think the whole head, getting it, you know, having the full, the full immersive alien, you know, yeah. face and thingy and humanoid, whatever that is, um, yeah. it's just a deeper, deeper level. It's, it's more intricate. You, the face moves with everything and that kind of stuff. So I'd, the, whatever you know, James McKinnon and the whole team and Glenn Hetrick and all that, what they did is pretty, pretty impressive. I, there was talk of maybe playing the sun and then and then maybe doing flashbacks oh. and that and it was like if we don't have to can we not because it's it, maybe just voice something or he's just looking at the mirror and sees himself and then speaks like it's something but yeah That's yeah the amalgamation you have to you have to decide where it's placed in your in your mind and body and how when yeah. it when and how it comes out and how he's dealing with it and I suppose he's found a place to sort of compartmentalize everything and well season one was more about the craziness and what's going on, how do I deal with it, who am I, who am I, and where, whereas season two was about the aftermath of Fallout dealing with the relationships, so it was a bit easier to play those things, you know. Mostly Ash, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, because I find, I find it uh, not as fun to just sort of 
break out looking like Ash breaking out into Vogue. I find that just, I'm just going to throw in a line of Klingon. I don't really like playing that. I like going deep into it rather than just shouting a few lines. He's like, oh yeah, he's Vogue's there. Like, I, I was quite upset that and sad that you don't see that kind of, that's that, the Vogue we saw in episode four. You never see that sweet, loving, brilliant plan, strategic planning, samurai calm style vote that plans that whole he's thing in episode arm, four. And, he's just hungry, and who's in power, who's very much in charge. So that yeah. progression, I always found a bit strange, but you know, I didn't write the show, so. It's just craziness, the whole Section 31 stuff, ending up doing stuff with Michelle, and again, like I was saying, the fallout and all those beautiful, beautiful moments. And that was just, yeah, that was beautiful writing and just, I mean, he said goodbye a lot to, to Sonequa, but you know, he's going to miss her. He's got to make sure he said the right goodbye. So yeah, it's, it's always going to be there and it's always on the surface. So every time they see each other, there's that going to be that kind of thing. Actually, that was quite a while. We had, I, th I thought most episodes were 12 to 14 days, but I felt like we were getting a bit over on that one. I'm not sure, but I think maybe it's two weeks, around two weeks. Somewhere. I did like the cling on her. It's so, I mean, I think it pleased a lot of people, maybe, or annoyed them even more, who knows? But. Um, it's, they ended up looking like sort of white rusters. And they looked like white rusters when they got the hair oh. developed. Yeah. <laughs> so you helped on the D7, talk about that. I did, I did. I would say, I'll say, yeah, I had a, I had a hand in it. You were announcing it to the world? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I announced it, but we, uh, maybe Mary did most of the... So what you're hearing is not really going to take credit. Officially... I'm not taking credit. Okay, maybe I'll take 40% I'll take of the credit. Let's say you designed the, the cushions. I designed the cushions and I was really good at the PowerPoint presentation of it all. You pitched it. I'm joking, I did design all of it. I actually did all do most of it. Yeah. Probably episode 11, having to do a lot of that switching stuff, uh, playing Mirror Vogue and then him and then the switching it from with the Sonequa scene, a lot of that and like the emotional stuff of finding out. Episode 10 and 11 was really great. And 7 was great, just to, it was very fun to film that. So, but that wasn't as much as a performer, but it was very fun. Season 2, favorite actor acting mode? I think maybe the last goodbye with Sonequa, or one of the goodbyes in the room with Sonequa, was a very sad moment. Yeah. And all the stuff, any time we got stuff with Mary, I tried to get so much stuff with Mary Wiseman, but they never, our characters didn't cross enough. And I always, I always loved that, those moments. I think actually my season one might have been my mess with scene with Mary, just because it was just our first time together. You're watching Trick Yards for Kalish.